Hi, I'm Catherine Costa from 100mandalas.com. My YouTube channel is dedicated to mandalas, how to create them, and how to color them. Arteza reached out to me asking if I would give an honest review of three of their products. Now, I want you to know I was not paid for this review and the opinions in this video are mine and solely mine. I own them. In fact, I love these products so much that I decided to participate in their affiliate program. And what that means is if you click on the product links below this video and make a purchase, I do receive a small commission at no extra cost to you. I use these commissions to purchase products to give away in my monthly mandala challenges or to use in my workshops and courses. All right, so the first product we'll look at is their set of 48 watercolor real brush pens. And pictured here is the range of colors that are included in this set. These brush pens are also available in sets of 12, 24, and 96. These pens are non-toxic. It's a water-based ink, ideal for creating watercolor effects. Now, if you have any concerns about odor with markers, you're going to find that in an alcohol marker, but these are water-based, so they're odor-free. The flexible nylon brush tip has a super fine tip, great for creating details in your mandalas. And they can also be used for medium and bold brush strokes as well. And since the tip is a real brush tip rather than what you typically find in a marker, you can get some really good painterly effects with these pens. The second product that they sent me is a set of six water brush pens. This set includes two styles, a fine and broad tip, and three sizes for each style. These pens are great for painting while traveling. In fact, I recently sat in a car for a super long road trip and painted several mandalas on my lap and all with no mess. The Arteza brand is so much easier to fill than other ones. You open them up and it's just an open barrel, so it's, it's super easy to add the water. Now, you're going to find in the demo that follows that I use the fine tip throughout the whole thing. In fact, I typically work with fine tip um, brushes. But the broad tip is an excellent choice for doing washes of color to create a colorful background for your mandalas. So definitely check that out. Arteza also sent me two pads of 9 by 12 inch watercolor paper. It's a cold press heavyweight paper that can handle a lot of wet applications. And I found I really enjoyed working with this paper. All right, so whenever I get new supplies, the first thing I like to do is to create a color wheel. It's an opportunity to introduce me to the colors, to see what they look like, and also to get a feel for how they react. When creating a color chart, be sure to use the paper that you'll typically use. You see, the paper quality and color will impact the resulting finish and color quality. All right, so to create my color wheels, I started by drawing a seven inch circle. And then I drew in a second circle. I then divided the circle into 24 equal sections using a protractor. So what you'll do is with a pencil, lightly mark the circle in 15 degree increments. All right, use a ruler to connect the dots across from each other in the circle. Then I fill the top square with color straight from the pen. Using the water brush, pull the color toward the center. We see here how the water activates the color. Now what I try to do is keep the outermost edge without water, so that way I have a record of how the color looks without applying any water. And that way we can see a really good gradient. On the barrel of the pen, you'll find a number and color name. And I love some of the names like green tea, dolphin gray, chamomile, and mysteria purple. All right, so as I'm working, you're probably noticing how I'm filling in every other section. So when working with watercolor, I'm really careful to allow for each area to dry before painting next to it so the colors don't bleed. <music>
I created two wheels to include a spot for all 48 colors in this set. Now, when I first opened up the package, I thought there were a lot of neutral colors. But now seeing the finished color wheels, I love, love, love those vibrant colors in this set. And these days, I've been doing a study of the four elements, air, water, fire, and earth, and I cannot wait to use these brush pens. I think they'll be perfect for illustrating those elements. Here's another chart that I like to do when I'm uh, trying out and getting to know my watercolor markers. This is an exercise that uh, comes from my Color One course. So what I do is I draw a grid with an equal number of columns and rows, and here I selected 11 colors. Along the top row and down the first column, I color each square with the marker. This shows what the color looks like straight out of the pen. Then I use a plastic lid as a palette to scribble some of the ink. Using a water brush pen, I lift the color from the palette and apply it to the square. So the first color is an example of how the color looks when watered down. Then I take the next color here, I used orange and scribble that onto the palette. Using the water brush, I mix the orange with the red and then colored in the next square in the row. I repeat using each of the colors across the top. Oh, but you know what I forgot to do is also color down the first column. You see the colors along the top and along the side are the same. So we've got to work in both directions. <music> All right, so keep working your way until you've filled in the entire grid. Don't forget to add the name and number of the marker for reference. And so here you have it, a really great reference chart that will guide me in blending colors to achieve different colored nuances. All right, so I'm ready to color a mandala. You want to see? I thought so. All right, so this mandala here I drew in using a pencil on the Arteza watercolor paper. The center flower design is from lesson one and the outer squaring the circle pattern is from lesson four in my mandala, mandala drawing one course. Now, I love juicy, vibrant colors in my mandalas. I love the energy in them. And you know what I noticed is when I was pulling those colors and those color wheels, I I wanted to try that out with my first mandala. So I used the same technique throughout where I apply the ink directly to the paper and then I use the water brush to pull the color. Now when using this technique to color your mandala, you wanna be careful not to use too much water. Every time you see my brush leave the screen, I'm tapping it onto a piece of paper towel to discharge some excess water. If the brush gets dry, gently squeeze the barrel, but do it over the paper towel to wet the brush and tap any excess water off before returning to your artwork. And throughout, you'll see I alternate where I'm working to avoid painting adjacent to wet areas. This prevents those colors from bleeding. So the way I approach this mandala is I colored various sections so you can see a sample of how I colored them in. And then to kind of move this video along, I advanced to the final design. For the narrow green areas, I decided to go back in and darken them up. I 
After inking them, I went in with a water brush and lifted off the color. This creates a highlight and adds dimension to the shape. I wanted to see how these brush pens would work in my mixed media journal. So here I created a mandala for a lesson in my Great Round course. And I have to say, I love these products from Arteza and can't wait to get off this computer and back to playing in my journals. You know, the price points for these products are competitive with other premium quality art brands. I highly recommend that you try them out. So be sure to watch my blog for more design samples in the weeks to come. I'm curious to see what other techniques and effects I'll bring to my mandala practice with these brush pads. To learn more about these and other products from Arteza, follow the links below this video. If you enjoyed this video, I offer more demos and techniques on how to use watercolor brushes, including two and three color blending techniques, tip to tip blending, as well as a look at other types of mediums. The course also includes an introduction to color theory and how to create color harmony. So be sure to check that out if you want more. Now, if you want to learn how to draw mandalas, my Mandala Drawing One course is the course to take. It includes 10 video lessons focused on geometric style mandalas. Each lesson is under 10 minutes and designed to get you creating mandalas quickly and successfully. As always, I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment below and like my YouTube channel to not miss out on new videos.